Welcome to the Using Songwriter Studio videos. This video is going to explain how to work with a dictionary. So once you have Songwriter Studio open, you click on Dictionary, and the last open file will open. So in this case, we have um, one called ASL, which is the sign language is American Sign Language, and the gloss language is English. So one way of um, seeing what's in this dictionary is the show all button which will let's either show all of them which might be too much for the memory you have on your computer or just show the first hundred so we'll just show the first hundred here and okay let's um, delete these blank entries delete yes Okay, let's do show all again. First hundred. There you are. So now we have the first hundred entries here. Now, um, a lot of the entries we imported from the sign file don't have any gloss, so that's why these are empty here. Normally, you'd want to put a gloss because that's how we can. One of the ways we can find them, we can also find the signs by symbols as well. Um, so let's see how we can find some signs. So we can go by name. So we can type uh, one of the words is in the gloss or part of the word. So let's say, let's look for hello, hello, search. So now any signs that have the gloss, hello, which is the main gloss, or any other glosses in English will show up here. So this one also shows up. It also matched this hello. So the first column is for the main gloss, and maybe other words also map to the same sign, so you might want to put them in other glosses, English. Here is where we have the sign writing. This illustration is in case if you want to draw what the sign is, and the photo sign is what a picture of what the sign is. And then we have the source, who wrote the sign. This is the source of the photo. of the illustration and this is the photo sign source for this column. If we write a sign we don't want to share with everybody, maybe it's a personal sign, a sign that not everybody else is interested in, we can click the do not export checkbox and when we export that file that sign will not be exported. So if we want to add a new entry we click on add new and we can write hello And double click here. Let's try a five hand. There we are. Accept. Actually, let's call that. Just call that five. So, you can also duplicate a sign. Let's say you have a sign that's similar to another one. You can find that one first and then duplicate it. I was going to take a sign and delete it. Click on delete, and we delete the entry. Okay, so there we are. And so that's about it for um, using the dictionary. It's not all, not all that complicated. What can be a little bit more complicated is using two gloss languages, and we'll see that in another lesson.